what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel i have a brand new fortnite video for you here today and it's involving the avatar and fortnite collab and along with it we have a mini battle pass that's currently available in the game of course there's a free version and then there's a premium version we're going to check both out check out all the rewards you're going to get you know all the challenges and everything you have to do to gain those rewards and of course let's see what we're going to unlock so let's jump into the menu and see what we got going on here with this Fortnite and Avatar collab. And of course, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. You help the channel grow. The subscribers have been going up. And of course, I see the feedback. So leave a comment below. But now let's jump into the menu and let's see what we got. All right, so we're here in the menu. And as you can see, we have a nice little new icon, the Ang icon, right between the play and locker tab. And with that, you're gonna see here the Elements Mini Battle Pass. And as these mini battle passes go, you already know that top row is all the free rewards by gaining Chi, and you're gonna unlock those rewards. And then simultaneously, if you do purchase the premium battle pass, which costs 1,000 V-Bucks, you're also gonna be able to claim the rewards on the bottom row. That bottom row is for the premium battle pass, which costs, once again, 1,000 V-Bucks. And upon clean that, you also get this Ang Fortnite style along with the Ang Lego style. So I already purchased it right before the recording of this video in order to get the premium mini battle pass, which is at the bottom. Right now, let's check out by gaining chi, which rewards you unlock. So first up, you get the Elemental Cycle Emote, 1,000 chi. Then you get the back bling, the four elements banner, which does change per element. Up next, you get a level up on your account. Then you have the four elements loading screen right there in full screen. Check it out. That looks awesome. So up next for 5,000 on another account level up. 6,000 chi, you got this bass guitar right here, which also changes per the elements. As we continue, 7,000, another level up. Then, of course, the classic My Cabbages emote from the show right there. That's 8,000 chi that you have to earn. Next up, you got the Laughing Top emote. Once again, 10,000, you get to level up your account again. You have the Sokka's Space Sword for 11,000, and that does it. Now, let's go to the premium. For the premium, you get the Baffled Ang emote. Then you get the home base banner icon. Remember, you're doing these simultaneously with the free ones. Then next up for 3,000, you get the level up. Then you get Ang's Air Sphere emote. That one's pretty cool. That's 4,000 chi. As you continue for 5,000, you get to level up your account once again. And as you continue for 6,000, you get the Momo Messenger, which I believe is a reactive. Yes, it is. It's a reactive back bling. So maybe, hopefully, we'll see it in the game eventually. Uh, but it is a reactive back bling. The next up, you get another level up in your account for 7,000. For 8,000 chi, you get an Avatar Ang emote. And then you get the Air Nomad Staff Pickaxe for 9,000 chi, which is pretty cool. Let's swing it. There you go. Those are your effects. And last, I believe so. No, one more. Then you get another level up on your account. And that's the outfit, the Avatar State Ang outfit. That looks pretty awesome. We're gonna be running that. And that's the final reward for unlocking everything here in this mini elements battle pass. So once again, guys, that top row are all the free ones, all the free rewards, and all the bottom ones are for the premium. And of course, you're gonna unlock the Appa glider and you have to collect all six chakras. Yeah, chakras. <laughs> my fault for the pronunciation but yes six chakras and here are the quests right now we have the water chakra we have all of these you gain 350 chi for each one the earth one is not currently available so we're going to complete all these right now and i'm going to show you how i did it so let's jump into the game so here we have it first up we have to land on water from the bus two times so right away that's what we're going to do and right after we're going to visit an elemental shrine so right now as i showed you on the map that's probably gonna be, well, depending on the rotation and the game that you're playing. But right now, I believe that's the best route. First, we land here in the water, and then we head on over to the elemental shrine, which is up top the hill. Right now, there's some gunshots going off around, so we gotta be careful. It is a pretty hot drop right now, so you gotta be, as like I said, and I have no gun right now. So let me get out of here fast before I get eliminated. I guess he got, you know, the water bending element so he was trying to do the challenge as well in the meantime we're gonna gain some shield which is also part of these quests so we do have to gain shield so before i head back to the elemental shrine 
let me take advantage and get a heads up on that quest. So you gotta restore shields for 500, but let's go back to that elemental shrine, which we already went to, and hopefully, oh, I think there it is. Either he dropped it, and in the meantime, we're gonna continue to gain shields for 100 out of 500. I uh, can't grab this, I'm gonna have to break it with a pickaxe. And there you go, the water bending mythic. Now we have to damage opponents with it. All right. He's moving around. All right, he's shot over. I don't believe this is going to end well here because I haven't played the game in a little bit. I'm a little rusty as you see with my aim. I'm almost dead. Let me move over and take advantage. Let me gain some more shield while we're at it. But remember, we have to deal damage with the water bending mythic. A thousand to be exact, and I've only done a hundred. 22 i believe uh, i'm gonna try again but no this didn't end well all right either way we unlock that real quick let's claim that and let's get back into the match like i said i'm a little rusty right now but either way let's get back in there because we have to land on the water directly from the bus one more time so we're gonna land pretty much in the same location we did in the previous game Hopefully, once again, I don't run into enemies. So there you go. That quest is done. We did it two out of two, and we gained 350 chi. So now let's move up the hill. Let me get something, like some ammo or something with me, a gun. Of course, why not get some shield? Because we're still restoring shields. We're 150 out of 500. And let's get that water bending mythic. But this is why I want to loot up and get some guns first because I know it's going to be a hot drop. And also, we do have to destroy a cabbage cart. I'm going to show you real soon on a map where you can find all these locations. But let's head on over here. And as you can see, there you go. So let me pause it right here. So if you take a look at this map on the screen, these are all the locations where you should be able to find a cabbage cart. Thanks to Fortnite World, I think, dot app, if I'm not mistaken. The link will be in my bio or in the description, actually. So you can check that out. But either way, this is the nearest location. And we're going to head over here because all we have to do, as you can see, is destroy that cabbage cart. And there you have it. Once again, it's all part of the show. And we gained 350 chi. We still have to restore at least 300 more shield. And we also have to receive passive healing with water bending by entering water. So by getting the water bending mythic, all we have to do at this point is find a location where there is water, any body of water. And in the meantime, we're going to still restore our shields because we're not at 500. As you can see, there are so many slur barrels here. So if you do find this location, go crazy. Take your pickaxe out or build a cone, depending if you're playing build mode. And that's another little secret location if you need shield. So we're going to go over here real quick. And hopefully we can still find the water bending mythic. And let me pause it real quick again. I have another map. So if you want to find the water bending mythics, these are the two locations right now that are shown on the map that you should be able to find it. Obviously, this is one of the two. So just head on over here. Hopefully no one else took it or claimed it. But this is uh, where they tend to spawn and you'll have the best opportunity to get it. So now that we have it here... And the storm is coming. It's perfect because it's going to deal some damage to us. We're going to head to a body of water, the nearest one, which is right over here. And we have to receive passive healing. Basically, by just entering the water. All you have to do is go into the water, swim around. And there you go. You, as you can see, the progress on the quest. 16 out of 25. 19 out of 25. Hold on. Let me get some XP by searching that little barrel. Jump back in the water. 20 out of 25. 23 out of 25. Come on. And done. 25 out of 25. And we've gained 350 more chi. We're working our way through these, these quests for the mini battle pass. And we still have to deal damage to opponents with water bending abilities or the mythic. So... This does count, by the way, guys. So if you head on over here and you deal damage to these guards and the commanders by the storm tower, it does count towards the damage. As you can see, we're already at, let me see, when we finish eliminating this guy, we're at 954 out of 1,000, so we're fairly close. We just have to deal just a little more damage to at least one more player. There's one guy right here. 
and a little off. I apologize. And there you go. That quest is complete. And all we have left to do still at this point is to finish restoring shields. We're at 330 out of 500. This next one's a little risky depending on their opponents around, but there's something I decided to do. I found this shield breaker, the EMP, and I basically just dealt damage to myself with the shield. Try to do this, make sure there's no enemies around. And then just, if you have, you know, the mini shields, crack them out, get them, doing, get them going, and then here we go. Hit yourself again. Shield up. Once again, try to do this when there aren't any players around. And we're still 405 out of 500. So you're going to have to move around. And like I said, if you can deal damage to your own shield, go for it. And as long as you have potions with you, you can pretty much restore your shield again. Or the cans, the slurp cans, whichever. You know, or you can just play the game. And you know while you're getting damage done to your shield or people are cracking your shield, as long as you pop these potions, you already know. This is standard Fortnite. Just gain your shields as you progress. This was for at least for me the fastest way to do it. And there you have it. We've finished the water chakra quest. And none are available yet. And here are the rewards. We got our elemental cycle spray. We got the baffled ang emoticon. We got our four elements banner back bling. Four nations right there representing our banner icon. We've gotten 1,750 chi and this banner icon as well. Avatar set. So let's head back to the menu here. We head on over. As you can see, we've already completed two for the free and for the premium. And we've got one chakra for the Appa glider right there. And you can keep track of it at the bottom. So as you can see at the bottom right there, one out of six. So there you have it, guys. And as you can see, the Earth Chakra quests are available eight hours and 54 minutes from this recording. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And stay tuned once again for a brand new video when we get this Earth Chakra quest available. I'm going to show you guys how to do them, how to complete it. But of course, let me know what you guys think of the Avatar and Fortnite collab. Do you guys like the mini battle pass? Do you like the rewards that are available, the skins, all that good stuff? I think for a thousand V-Bucks, it's not bad. And once again, you can, you know, level up if you pay, I think, 1,600 V-Bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. If you want to, like, basically just purchase the levels or, so you can level up and unlock all the rewards... I technically could do that, but you know what? I'm going to grind it out with you guys, and I'm going to show you how to do these quests. So stay tuned for that next video. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. I've been reading the comments. I've been seeing the subscriber count go up. I really, truly appreciate you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and stay tuned for that next video. You already know what it is. Once again, I go by A-Yo Ray. Peace.